Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Eagle Pencil Sharpener. This is model E5121. And we'll do that right after this short intro. Let's take a closer look at this pencil sharpener here that I just recently received. It's called the Eagle, and it's the E5121. And you can see that it's a handsome looking pencil sharpener. And I will say though that it doesn't have that cheap feel to it. It feels really nice and solid, and I like that. Uh, I don't like it when I grab onto some small pencil sharpener and it feels like you know you twist it one way or the other and it's all going to come apart on the seam so this is pretty good you can see it's a single helix blade here as opposed to some would that would have a double and this removes of course so that you can empty out your shavings or dislodge anything caught within the blade here you can see it's a single helix blade and then of course there's the guide for where the pencil keeps it from wobbling around you know, when that pencil lead gets snapped. Now on the top, it's limited, of course, to uh, the size of that hole there, and I believe that uh, it won't go any bigger than perhaps a eight millimeter. I'll have to take a look at that and see what the rating is for that. If it's on here, yes, it's eight millimeters, six point five to eight millimeter. So it's a standard pencil size hole, so you won't be able to use these fat pencils, of course. Then you have this pattern here, which, you know, would give you the impression that it would be a button or you would slide it or something. But I think it's more for aesthetics, just kind of say, ooh, space age looking. So this thing is powered by four AA batteries. And it also has a receptacle so that you can use a USB power. What I'm going to do is first test it with USB power without the batteries put in. And then I'll add batteries and see how that works out. And then I'll have them both together and then go from there. So let's go ahead and test out a pencil here. Now, of course, the first thing I'm going to have to do is butcher one of my pencils and I know how much you love hearing me butcher my pencils there we go sorry dude give one for the the group there all right so I've pretty much messed that tip up let's see how this thing sharpens so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, plug in this USB power here. Now, it comes with the USB cable, but you'll have to have your own, of course, uh, charger thing. You can either have one of these or anywhere else that would provide, I would say, about 5 volts through this USB cable. And I find a lot of these sharpeners are coming with just the USB cable as opposed to the whole charging thing because I guess that's something you can go into Best Buy or something and get or buy it online. Alright, so let's see how this thing grinds it up. Alright, first impressions. Uh, it With the power on, it's very strong, very smooth and very responsive it started up right away so I like that and taking a look at the wood here it's shaving it nice and clean so that's good now I pulled it stopped it on my own it didn't stop so I stopped it so I'm gonna go ahead and continue and get this fully sharpened to see what kind of tip we have okay still not done yet but Again, I just wanted to check it. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it towards the camera here so you can actually watch it happening. So I'm going to have to kind of hold this in a funny way. Here we go. 
It doesn't take a lot of pressure. And I can hear it speed up when it comes to the end of sharpening. So it, this pencil is sharpened. It's not. It's not going to sharpen anymore. So that's good. It's just not going to keep eating my pencil up. Okay. And so here we go. And here's the point. Okay. So it's a pretty nice point. It's not as stubby as the last one that I uh, took a look at. A different model, different company altogether. Uh, this one here is a decent point. So I like that. That is a decent point. So let me try now without this and let's see uh, just how responsive this sharpener is when it's operated on batteries. Now overnight I charged up my rechargeables. I go through batteries around here so so quickly that uh, I'm going to have to go with the rechargeables. So let's see, it's plus down, then minus down, and minus down there, and then plus down there. Now everything's in there, I can't see in there anymore, but I'm going to assume that's plus down. So, all right. Now, rechargeable batteries, at least the ones that I have, and I have quite a few of them, the diameter of the batteries are bigger than your standard AA battery. So some things that I purchase that require AA batteries, the rechargeables don't fit as well. They're very tight. In this case, too, the door uh, required a little bit of pushing, but you can see that I got it in there nice and flush. Now let's see how this thing operates on battery power. So again, I need to find me a victim. And here's this old cheap uh, teaching mark pencil that I got some time ago. And let's see here. Okay, we'll go ahead and give it the old grindola here. Yeah, stab that puppy down. All right, it's all nice and mangled. So, we'll go ahead and now sharpen this little puppy and and see how that thing works. Now you can hear it under battery power. It sounds a little more strained than running it from the outlet, but it it is not. Um, prohibitive it, it will sharpen the pencil it's just not as powerful you can hear the sound speeding up because it came to the end of sharpening and there you go all right so it sharpens nice, nice and clean. It does okay under battery power. It does great under USB power. The uh, power differences, is they're noticeable, but it's not drastic. It's just, of course, being under battery power, uh, you, you put a little load on those batteries compared to having that nice current come from your wall. Okay, one of the, the features of this pencil sharpener that I should also mention is that it contains an auto exclude for broken lead. So if, if you happen to break the lead in here, uh, it should be unnecessary to come in here and have to clear the pathway because um, it is designed to clear automatically and for the, the point just to fall out into the catch here. So that, that is something good. Now, it's also listed as an auto stop, though I don't know if it stops the motor, but it just stops sharpening. So, for example, here's a sharpened pencil. Now, we'll just test this out real quick, and then we'll know for sure. A few moments later... Okay, so the motor is not going to stop, 
but the pencil isn't going to keep grinding down until you have nothing but well wood pulp so that's a good thing but you know you'll just have to stop after a few seconds and take a look at it but you can actually feel it and tell that it starts spinning up real fast because it's just not taking any more wood off the pencil now of course no review for a pencil sharpening will be complete unless we test it out with some colored pencils so I'm gonna go ahead now and sharpen a couple of my colored pencils here and see what kind of results we can get now these are my uh, Arteza woodless watercolor colored pencils but the same thing it's going to be a softer material and pencil sharpeners are notorious for chewing up watercolor pencils so we're going to give this pencil sharpener a test and see how it fares with uh, watercolor or in this case with uh, colored pencils so let's let me give you a, a view here that this is a stub nose how it comes in this kit I'm going to go ahead and put this in here oh wow okay and as you can see that is a really nice point so it does a good job on these color pencils as well there you go I'm gonna do one more just for giggles here this brown one needs a a nice point there you go nice points all right so it does a great job on color pencils okay now we've done graphite pencils and we've done color pencils now here I have a charcoal pencil it's a 2b charcoal pencil so it's relatively soft very soft as charcoal pencils normally are and I also have some Wolf's carbon pencils here and of various degrees 6b 4b 2b and b now being carbon pencils these are very very soft and well let me just tell you I'm not optimistic that this sharpener is going to sharpen them without just chewing that lead up or whatever you want to call the material because you know pencil sharpeners just eat these up but I thought you know what why don't we see if it can handle it because what if it could handle it what an awesome uh, additional benefit uh, we would be getting from this sharpener uh, I know I would so I'm gonna go ahead but now if it if it doesn't do a good job on these that's not anything on the sharpener itself unfortunately that just happens to be the uh, nature of the beast that sharpeners just chew up carbon pencils but first let's char start with charcoal because charcoal is also very soft and I'm gonna try not to you know I, I mean I don't shove it down anyway but I'm gonna try to be very delicate because I really want to get this to work that would be really great if I can get a really nice point on these things let's see what happens here wow look at that wow make sure my thing isn't broken and it's not it's in there good look at this point wow okay looks like I have a sharpener for charcoal pencils here awesome all right well here comes the crazy test let's start with the B because it would be the hardest of the soft carbons and you know I don't know but let's give it a try here I'm kind of like worried oh my word look at that and it's in there yes it didn't break it okay good Woo! -hoo. all right let's go even softer boy we're pushing the envelope here this is a 2b carbon this is getting even softer yet wow look at that <laughs> all right okay whoa all right look at that oh Wow, I've already got a pretty darn good point on that. I'm going to push it just a little bit more, just a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, look at that. All right, you know what? Hold on. I got to get one more. Is the Notorious General's Carbon Sketch 595. And I break the tip on this every time I try to sharpen it to the point that it's driving me crazy. Look at this little dinky point I got to live with. This is the way it came out of the box. And then I got to try to sharpen it with uh, the exacto knife because my sharpeners just eat it up. But I'm going to see if this puppy here can do it. Oh boy. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, that's about it for the Eagle pencil sharpener. It's a really nice pencil sharpener. So I'll definitely give it, you know, a A-OK -okay as far as pencil sharpeners go. And uh, I hope you found that uh, useful to know. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.